Paula, what would your advice be to others who are thinking of going on this journey? Um, my, my advice really would be to, to just do it, to go onto the Investors in People website, find out who your local provider is. In our case here in London, it's Inspiring Business, business Performance. Um, they have diagnostic tools on their website, so you can actually assess yourself and find out where you're actually at. Um, you might already be halfway there, so there might not be a huge amount of work to do. Um, they'll also put you in touch with an advisor who will come in and talk to you. They might also um, run almost a mock assessment to talk to a few people to find out what they really think about the organisation. Um, so I think I think it's a it's really just a case of setting the wheels in motion and there's a lot of help to be had from from external organisations. Um, I think you don't be put off by the thought that there might be a lot of paperwork involved in this. There is no paperwork involved in investors and people which is really really I think a, a positive thing. Um, it's moved more that way over the last um, seven years and initially there was more paperwork, um, paper-based evidence that you had to provide. Um, now it is all really done on word of mouth so it's all based on interviews um, and Yes, I've had to uh, provide a copy of our strategy. Yes, I've provided a copy of our business plan, but there are documents that you have in place anyway. So um, I'm not asked to show proof of appraisals. The assessor will actually ask the people, have you had an appraisal? And then it's a simple yes or no. Um, I, th I think if you find, if you, if you do a, a, some sort of diagnostic, um, but if you're using a diagnostic tool to find out where you're at, um, and you don't score that well, I think don't be discouraged because um, I really do, I do think the process can be so beneficial to the organisation that it's just really, really worth it. That there's, isn't, you don't have to be perfect, you really just have to show that you're trying to move in the right direction. There are certain things that you have to have in place, but I think if you have solid strategies in place, and if you communicate that with people, people will see that you're, what you're trying to achieve, and that, that, um, you know, that works its way down through the organisation. Um, I also think that before embarking on something like this, it's very important to get support from the top. Um, everybody, you need buy-in from everybody, um, particularly the top team. Um, it's a good, um, it's a good thing for um, a new CEO or perhaps a new HR director to use if they're coming into an organisation, because not only will it show them what needs to be done within the organisation, but in working towards it, you can actually really bring about very positive change um, and you know make a mark on the organisation. So it's very very positive in that respect.